I'm Kim. I'm Allison. I'm Angelica. And in this series, we're going to talk to you about all the extension recipes that we have. We're going to go through a whole bunch of appliances and make some fun, creative, and easy recipes for you to try at home. So let's, let's get, get started. started. Welcome back to Extension Eats. I'm Allison. I'm Angelica. And today we're going to make what, Angelica? We're going to make chocolate covered strawberry smoothie. All right, that sounds delicious. Strawberries are one of my favorites. So what ingredients do we need? So we've got some frozen strawberries. We've got a little bit of milk, some um, cocoa powder, and we've got some honey to make it a little bit sweet. All right, so we're going to get started. So we've got a cup of milk, two tablespoons of the cocoa powder, one cup of strawberries, and we're gonna do two tablespoons of the honey. So I always like to start with the frozen stuff first. Then we'll add some cocoa powder. We got the milk. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey. And then we'll blend. All right, so we're gonna turn it on and we're going to blend. All right, and we're done. Then I like to take the blade out. Yeah, it definitely looks chocolatey and strawberry. I it can't looks wait. like a chocolate covered strawberry, doesn't it? Look at that color. All right, there we go. Today we're gonna be making what special treat? We're gonna be making a blueberry cheesecake smoothie. Oh, that sounds good. My mama said that cheesecake's not always healthy for you. Is this healthy for you? Uh, it can be. We're gonna make it a little bit more healthy. All right, so show me how to start doing it. Okay, so what we have is um, we have blueberries, we've got some graham crackers, we've got some milk, and we've got some cream cheese. All right, so we got our ingredients all measured out, right? Yep. All so right. What we have is we have a cup of blueberries, a little over a quarter cup of um, cream cheese, and we've got half a cup of milk, and then we've got some graham crackers that we're just going to toss on top. Okay. So we'll get to blending. Those are the biggest blueberries I've ever I seen. I know. Aren't they big? Mm -hmm. I hope They're they taste pretty. good. Put the blueberries in. We're going to add the milk. And then we're going to add some of this cream cheese. I still can't stick my spoon down in there. No, no still can't do no. that. Okay. Not with those sharp blades. All right, and then we're going to put this on. Okay, then we're going to turn the blend on and put it on high. It took it a minute to get those blueberries, so we got them. All right, so let's see how this looks. Yeah, it looks good. So we're gonna remove the blade because we don't want that falling out on us. It's a pretty color. Mm -hmm. That's the healthiest looking cheesecake I've ever seen. I know. All right. And then we have graham crackers, right? Yep. We're gonna toss just a little bit of graham crackers on top to make it look pretty. And who doesn't like graham crackers? They're great. All right, there you go. And that's our blueberry cream cheese smoothie, right? Yep. All right, and we have one more delicious one to make. Just a second, don't we? Yeah. All right, Angelica, I can't wait to get started. And you know, I'm not a very good cook, so this is easy to make, right? <laughs> yes, it's very easy. All right, I'm waiting. How okay. do we do it? So we're gonna go ahead and take our top off the blender. And we're gonna add in our cup of orange sherbet. And definitely be careful of the blades. So you don't want to stick anything in there. Oh yeah, it'd be bad to stick your spoon down in there. Oh yeah. And you got a cup of the vanilla Greek yogurt. And then we've got a tablespoon of the um, honey. Okay. And then we've got some oranges here. Those are some fancy looking oranges. I know, they look good. So it's just one orange that we segmented and cut. And we'll add some of that juice in there too. 
Now, I don't need to worry about all this stuff being at the top, right? No, no, no. Your blender's gonna take care of all of that. All right. So we're gonna put this on a high blend. All right, now we're done. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna pour our little blade out too. And just be careful with it. Pour. That looks delicious. Doesn't it look good? Mm. Such a pretty color. And then we're actually gonna put this in the freezer and save for later to let it stiffen up a little bit. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Extension Eats. See you next time. Bye. Bye.